Hello everyone. I hope you all guys are healthy and safe. Dear students, today we are going to discuss last topic of Unit Seven Physical Education of Class Twelve, which is first and aims and objective. Unit Seven is physiology and injuries in sports. I already prepared all the video and I already shared with you uh, all the videos of this chapter. If you haven't watched these videos, you can watch now. Okay, I have given uh, the link of these videos in the description. You can check. I will suggest to you you must watch these all the videos because this chapter and the all the videos are very important. So today we are going to start first aid, aims and objectives. Now let's start. First aid. First aid is the immediate care or help given to a sick or injured person before emergency uh, medical help arrives. What is first aid? Understand it once again. First aid is the immediate care of uh, or help given to a sick or urgent, uh, injured person before emergency medical help arrives. Okay, this is the help uh, given to the injured or sick person before medical help arrives. Okay, this is first aid. Now next, let's understand the aim of first aid. What are the aims? The principles of first aid involves the following qualities such as knowledge about first aid. Confidence, calmness, or alertness, action, vigilance, safety, be prepared, use uh, universal precautions, call for help, etc. But the main aim of the first ad is understand it. The main aim of first ad is to preserve life to the casualty. Okay. What is it? The main or uh, main aim of the first aid is to preserve life to the casualty. So this is the aim. Now let's know a little more about a during primary survey. An individual must follow D A sorry D R A B C. What is D R A B C? Now let's know about it. First is D. D stands for danger. Now what is it? Identify immediate risk around the casualty. Is it safe or not? So first we have to identify immediately the risk around the casualty. Is it safe or not? Okay. The second word is R. R stands for response. Now what is it? The first purpose of response is to find out that the casualty is uh, conscious or not. Okay. What is R? The response. The first is purpose of response is to find out that the casualty is conscious or not. Okay. There are two conditions. Uh, conscious and unconscious. So we must check the casualty is conscious or not. The third word is A. The A stands for airway. What is airways? Airways in our body is the nose and the mouth. Okay. For inhaling, exhaling, we use to these things. So uh, second, the third word is A. A stands for airway. Uh, is there airway open and clean? We must check the airways are uh, clean and open or not. Okay. So this is A stands for air. Next word is B. B stands for breathing. Now what is it? Is casualty breathing normally or not? Okay, means we have to check the casualty is breathing normally or not. Last word is C stands for circulation. What is it? Are there any sign of severe bleeding? So we have to check this also. So this is. Uh, D R A B C. D stands for danger. R stands for response. A stands for airway. B stands for breathing. And C stands for circulation. During primarily so uh, survey, an individual must follow this. Okay. D R A B C. So these are the aims, and the uh, this is D R A B C. Now let's know about the objectives of first aid. Objectives. Now let's know about the objectives of first aid. So the first is. To preserve life, what is it? Let's know. To preserve life, the first goal of first aid training is to instruct people on how to preserve life by carrying out service of emergency first aid procedure. For example, undergoing a first aid training will teach you that the first aid, uh, first thing to do when you encounter a casualty is to make sure that there. Uh, airway is open. If you see an unconscious person, the training teaches you how to perform a cardiopulmonary resuscitation, means CPR. Okay, CPR stands for cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Learning how to preserve life is a way 
the first the overall aim of first aid training second objective is to prevent worsening or deterioration now what is it let's know about it to prevent worsening or deterioration of the situation the second objective of first aid training is to avoid further worsening or degrade degradation of the condition of a casualty for example you should ask a person with uh, fractured bones not to move or place them in a position that will prevent them for having further injury so this is about second point now let's know the third objective of a set which is to promote recovery what is it now let's know about it to promote recovery the final goal of first aid training promotes the recovery of a victim first aid when given to a patient before professional medical help arrives significantly promotes the long term recovery of a condition or injury for example knowing how to apply cooling uh, to a burn injury will promote early helping and lower the risk of long term uh, scarring in a burn patient so these are the objectives of first aid i hope you understood about these all so now i will tell you some first first aids for different health risks okay now i am going to tell you about the first aid for cardiac arrest now let's know about it the word cardia stands for pulmonary resuscitation cpr okay cardio means heart pulmonary stands for related to lungs the pulmonary is related to lungs now understand resuscitation is the process of uh, correcting physiological disorders what is resuscitation is resuscitation is the process of correcting physiological disorders such as lack of breathing or heartbeat okay cpr cpr consists of the use of chest compression and artificial ventilation of uh, maintain circulatory flow and oxygenation during cardiac arrest okay what is cpr understand it once again cpr consists for the use of chest compression and artificial ventilation to mention circulatory flow and oxygen oxygenation during cardiac arrest so we can say the cpr is the first aid for cardiac arrest but the cpr is Uh, suggested for only adults a trained person can give the cpr to the children but the cpr is not suggested to the newborns so this is all about first aid for cardiac arrest arrest now let's let's know about the the first aid for bleeding first aid for bleeding in the case of bleeding we have to follow three steps okay which are the these three steps now let's know about these all so the first step apply direct pressure on the cut or wound with a clean cloth uh, until bleeding stops so the first step is apply direct pressure on the cut or wound with a clean cloth until bleeding stops second step elevation what is elevation raise the injured part above heart level okay means uh, elevation is the raise the injured part above the heart level now the third step and last step is apply uh, constant pressure until the bleeding stops and call doctor if needed so these three steps anyone can follow in the case of bleeding so this is the first aid for bleeding now let's know about the first aid for burns first aid for burns okay in the case of burns also uh, anyone can follow these three steps okay now what are these steps now let's know about the normal by one so the first step in burns remove clothing from the burnt area okay so first step uh, anyone can follow in the case of burn uh, remove the clothing from the burnt area second uh, step is use uh, running plain water okay in the burnt area we must use the running plain water do not use ice or cold water the ice and cold water is not suggested in the burn okay the third step cover the burn area with bandages or clean cloth and call doctor or send the patient to hospital if needed okay so this is 
the first add for burn first we have to remove the clothing from burn area second uh, use the running plain water don't use ice or cold water and the third step is cover the burn with the bandage or clean cloth and then call the doctor if uh, the condition is uh, not very good so we can ship the patient to the hospital also so i hope you understood about uh, today's topic which is for, which is on first aid okay and some different uh, first aids for different uh, in health issues or in the conditions okay so that's all for today thank you be happy be healthy hey there subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon